on YouTube, it's NCN Place to be Chunch Honey, Mr. Andy, and the one and only. Hey, everybody. Back with another Versus Series UFC 4 with the newly downloaded Brock Lesnar. And I'm like, so since Brock Lesnar is a free DLC coming to UFC 4, we decided to do a couple dream matches that can't happen, obviously. But we're going, Brock is going to go up against a lot of people today. And we're going to start off, I'm going to start off as Brock Lesnar, and he's going up against Conor McGregor to start, to start off things with. So... Uh, I'm playing as Brock, and then Son's playing as Conor McGregor. There we go. Let's get into this. Are you ready? Yeah. Because I am rusty. But I can admit that. So, it may take me about two fights to get oh back God. on track with everything. But I'm cool with that. I, I, I don't even remember anything. <laughs> I don't remember the controls at all. It's like muscle, right? Got to see. We're, but we're at Madison Square Garden. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms. One of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like yeah, Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. And we talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. This guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch him take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just punch, 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 punch for the sake of punch. Um, he finds position. He finds posture. He brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands these big right hands that makes his opponents fold up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it be submission or continuing to ground and pound his opponent Ooh. into the bottom of the octagon. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. So reach. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in. Uh, McGregor's undefeated. Keep it that way, right? Fighting out of Dublin, uh, Ireland, the notorious Connor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion. And when the action begins, our referee in charge. All right, Bills Lane. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Oh, okay. Got the name of the taunts on there now. You ready? Oh, yep, see, take it too long. I hit up. <laughs> with, with what? The hand lost it? No, this. The D-pad. All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans. Okay. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to 
Make sure how to block. Okay, that was uh the striker yeah. needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Alright, stack guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC. So for the top fighter, this is not. What was it? No, this is not. R2. Uh, he has to try and left L2 and triangle, I believe it was. How do you do that? You attack the feet. You start grabbing the feet with the hands, lead with your hips, grab the feet with the hands, pass the feet to the side, and start to lead with Where's your the kick? To try to get inside. Yes, oh. he can. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful legs. Ooh, ooh. God, 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 God. <laughs> He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh. Under, oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. <laughs> so what's going on? <laughs> You're blue. <laughs> You're blue. <laughs> That's not funny. I don't even... Okay, I'm... I can't... Just be a matter of How are you doing a whole screen <laughs> I think I have to do this. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I. I'm not pressing anything. Hey, come on, that's a, I'm not pressing. Then why are you anything. laughing? Because Is that why I are you was, laughing? I was well, laughing. Well, that match sucks. <laughs> oh, you're laughing because you are. My goodness, what a fight! Yeah, that is some high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I don't. There. Just the way he transitioned. To I'm not. I'm not even lying. I wasn't pressing anything. He was doing it on his own. High-level stuff. That's a young man here tonight. I am I can I can do it again and show you. It did it on its own. By submission tonight, champ. I mean you know How can it fill up the whole screen? They don't give you a chance to get out. I'm not home. I don't know. That you cannot lay in now we go inside the octagon. I literally did that because that was like a last resort because I was like stuck in it. Well, nobody wants to see that matchup on YouTube. Twenty seven seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. <laughs> All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job. Okay, and right, now he's undefeated. Let's hope I can keep it like that. And you ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now well, well, okay. underway. Looks like a classic matchup of Black striker Nudes. versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start. Oh, oh okay. Wait, what? How? Nope, now we now we got now we even now we gotta do another one away. Like that was a better match? Like And ultimately finish the fight here in the first you that, was, you that, was less, that was less than a submission match. That was worse. It's not before you go to the hit. But like seriously! Oh we all cocky, back it up! <laughs> that one hit! You scream and make it loud as I make the case. Right I'm just annoyed. Well, that's how I felt with the submissions. Yeah. So now it's one one. So I'm a, you're allowed to be annoyed. I'm not allowed to be annoyed. No, I'm just oh, saying. That's what, that's he took a one hit shot. That's not my fault. This is the risk. You do know he's a heavyweight, right? He outweighed him about 110 pounds. So now it's one one. Oh, okay. It's one one. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker. We have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way. But what are you expecting to see in this? One? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab. With oh! Oh, that's just unfair. Okay. That's just unfair. That's not a fair fight at all. 
Don't worry, because I'm going to be using somebody lighter next round. <laughs> I was about to say, that's not a fair fight at all. I don't know why we need that. <laughs> I feel like you could have done better in real life, but in this game. He's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. I hit you here multiple times. This is the uppercut caught your guard because you wasn't blocking it. You left it, you left it oh, open. Okay. You hit me like twice. <laughs> I hit you with one overhead shot and you stumbled. I hit you with two jabs and then instead of blocking, you hit me with two I jabs? It's all one to talk about. Well, that was Brock Lesnar versus Conor McGregor. I think, yeah. for, I think for the verses, I think if we take somebody out, in the first round, oh, okay. we should do a best of three. If it goes past the first round, mm -hmm. then we keep the match going. Oh. Fair? Yeah. Shake on it. All right. Like, subscribe, and share. Your hands are sweaty. And hit, uh, and then, once again, make sure you guys stay tuned for level up for more Brock Lesnar versus series. Once again, it's NCAA place to be. Children, Chamber Mr. Andy, and the one and only. Peace. And we'll see you on the next level. Not only do you get the win, you also that was too quick. <laughs>